This video is about the very interesting verse in the first chapter of Genesis, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Nasa Adam Tomeno Kid Mutenu. So first of all, why is it in the plural? Who is the us? Well, there are various suggestions made by that. One is the uh, royal we. We find often in ancient Near Eastern ideas using kings, using the royal we. So it would be customary for the king of kings to use the royal we. Uh, it's also possible that the ancients are using the well-known ancient Near Eastern mythological notion of the pagan deities assembled by having God talking to the heavenly court, which would make perfect sense. But finally, there's a great medieval rabbi named Albo who said that God took the best quality of every animal to make the human being. And it would make sense since God, we know the animals are in the garden according to the first chapter of Genesis by the time human beings are created, that God will be speaking to the animals. And that makes perfect sense in terms of the basic understanding of what human beings are, which is that we have the spiritual dimension of God and the physical dimension of a mammal. And we're, we combine the two, which gives us the full range of human emotions and the human psyche and the spiritual quality that's inherent in human beings. That leads us to the second point about Adam. Why does it say Adam? First of all, why does it say Eve? Why does it just say the male name? Well, uh, usually in the Bible, oftentimes it uses the word man or male for dealing with both sexes. In fact, it says later in the Torah, in the same portion, uh, that Zachar Nekeva Barautam, God made man and woman together. So this is not specifically just about a male, it's about uh, the human race. And then, what else do we learn from the idea that there's Adam? Not that necessarily people believe there's actually only one guy first. I mean, fundamentalists believe that, but other people don't. But it still makes the important principle that's made by the rabbis that, therefore, no one can say that my lineage is better than yours since we all come from the same person. There's total human equality in the realm of respect for human beings. And then we get to the phrase of Salmeno Kid Mutenu, Salam Elohim. What does it mean to be made in the image of God? Well, we have the uh, in ancient Assyria, the royal steels, which talk about the image of God, um, and therefore it makes perfect sense that the human being then represents God's spirit here on earth. And uh, we have ancient Near Eastern texts which talk about how the king's image is like that of a god. And so what the Torah does is democratize that by saying every human being he has a spiritual image of God. And that leads us to the fundamental Jewish value point about Selim Elohim, which comes from the word Salmenu, Selim there, the image of God, that every human being is made but Selim Elohim, not just a certain kind of person. Therefore, every human being deserves complete respect because they're made but Selim Elohim. So we learn all of these things from this uh, small verse, these few words, let us make man in our image according to our likeness that um, either God is talking, just God's talking, using the royal we, or God's talking with the angels, or God's talking to the animals, and saying, let us make a human being that consists of my best qualities and your best, my qualities and your best qualities. And then the idea of Adam again, to teach us that we all are equal, that we all have the same lineage, and finally, the image of God, the nobility and uh, high purpose of human nature.